You really shouldn't think about that if she can't see where you... Guys, it is that time once again. It is time to piss off a lot of people. I want to take this opportunity to discuss something that's become way too popular and that's really gone under my nose for quite too long. I'm talking about the genre that has been elevated significantly by artists such as Lil Peep and XXXTentacion, known as uh, emo rap, or as I like to call it, fuckboy rap. I personally find this to be the worst subgenre that's come out of rap ever. It's humiliatingly bad, and if you think that making the same trap music over and over and over again and just copy and pasting uh, mumble verses was bad, I didn't think it could get any worse. But just having an underwritten album where you give surface level edginess over trap beats, that is humiliating and it's insulting to the genre and just, it's, it's horrible. You can have deep, emotional, slow rap slash R&B songs that have thoughtful lyrics, a sort of depressing and monotone delivery as well as a dreary beat that actually work out well. But I, but that's not the stuff that becomes popular. The stuff that becomes popular is the borderline edgy stupid garbage that a lot of the teens listen to. It's difficult to call music good and bad, but this is not good. This is just not a good form of music. Anyways, I just needed to get that out of the way before getting really into this review. Specifically, let's start talking about who is Joji. Um, Joji aka Filthy Frank, I guess now former comedian. Now what kind of content does he post? Well now you can put both- <laughs> Yeah! Dicks for life! Stencil nightmare! <laughs> Basically, he is a living me. Filthy Frank basically was an extremely anti-politically correct uh, skit sort of channel, uh, and he had a lot of characters that he played, one of them specifically being Pink Guy. Now, he has actually released some music under this Pink Guy name, and the most notable being Pink Season, which was an album that he could have been arrested for this thing, okay? If you've heard this album, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Just show the lyrics. Just just show the lyrics. I'm not getting into this. This is not a review for Pink Season. But I really enjoyed him when he was playing all these characters and doing his channel, but I guess there was an underground fan base that was really interested in his more serious music, which was also something that he teased with this Pink Season album where he's talking about, oh, everyone seems to want real music. From that, like, after hearing this album, I didn't think that he'd ever do anything with real music. And when I discovered that he did have real music, I thought it was very mediocre. As the time has gone on, Filthy Frank, Joji, whatever you want to call him, he's pulled a fast one on his fans. And it seems like he's just shamelessly trying to make a music career out of what was as far from a music career as you can get. And honestly, I have no problem with that. I think that using YouTube as a promotion, as a way to push your image is resourceful and easily the best thing he could have done if he wanted to do this thing. What isn't fine is the character that we see as Joji, the human being. People are just shitty in general. Joji, from the interviews that I've seen, from him sort of showing up on H3H3 podcast, uh, he comes off as a, sort of an asshole. It's, it's this really fuckboyish kind of vibe from what I have seen with the public persona that he puts on with him trying to be really serious. He's dismissing everything that he's done up to this point and really just trying to skip all the steps to become a serious artist and he's just calling it. And now he has an EP out title in tongues. The art for this thing just kind of says it all. Take me seriously is what this album should be called. He's underwater, holding his breath. He's got chains around him. Oh God, the pressure, the chains of, oh God, I'm so popular. Everything's going so well. This album's probably gonna chart. Every single song on here feels fake as shit. I judged this album as if I didn't know who Joji was. Maybe that helped a little bit, but still, man. This is such a pile of junk. Se 16 minutes and it's just 
a pain to listen to. Let me give him some credit first for the instrumentation of these songs with it being creative, dreary. It just seems emotionally charged. There's a couple where it just feels uh, really awful, like bitter f I'll get into that. But yeah, it starts off with the song, Will He? which was an okay song. I thought that the beat was really cool. And then, mm, and then it happened, dude. And then I saw the first problem with this album. You know what it was? It's Joji. His singing is god awful. And sure, it's emo, you know? Isn't it all about just the emotions and not caring about the singing? Well, first of all, it's not even a acceptable sort of crooning. It's just the, I am in pain. Fine, you wanna do that, then at least say something interesting. Looking at even the first song, I think that this was the only point where you could even call the lyrics acceptable. But then you get to the pre-chorus, and then you start seeing the problems. Will your tongue remember the taste of my lips? Will your shadow remember the swing of my hips? Man, and it's, it's delivered so lifelessly and just painful to listen to. Pills. It's an edgy title, and then you got the first thing, the refrain, where it's like, please don't run away, please don't run away. And it's just so painful to listen to. I'm sorry, but at this point, I stopped seeing Joji as the side character, and I saw him back as the asshole interview guy. And I'm gonna come off as a terrible person from this review. But man, you are so fake. You are so fake. It's incredibly just disgusting. This project, I don't even care if there was any sort of real emotion to it. You can't deliver it for shit. And this is the guy who brought you some incredible freaking videos, like a bunch of life hacks where he's doing all this ridiculous. The instrumentation is good, so I have to give that some points. It just keeps getting worse from here. Demons is bad. Window. Oh. Skip. Let's get to the one that really matters. Bitter. Bitter fuck, dude. These lyrics. Mmm. I want to, I, I don't own a physical copy of this thing, but I want to throw it in the garbage. I want to just throw it in the garbage and burn it. I can insult Kevin Gates for coming out with a confusingly disappointing album. What a terrible song. Not only is it swearing just in the edgiest way possible, but it's clear what sort of garbage direction this is all going. I, I can't put words down. I, I just need to stop. Um, Let's just look at the last song, World Star Money, which was a good song. I love the instrumentation. Joji, you know, he's not the greatest, but he does okay. And this is an interlude, by the way. Yeah. So the interlude's the best track on here. Will, he is okay. Everything else is pretty bad. For sound, if he was taken off this project, okay, looking at the sound, I'd give this a 6 out of 10. That's right. 6 out of 10. That's Don't, don't get your hopes up, because... Now we get the other scores. Let's get Joji himself. Let's combine both his performance as singing and the lyrics that he lays down on this thing. And you get yourself a 1 out of 10. Overall, it's a 3 out of 10. Don't know what to tell you. It is. I mean, sure, beats are fine. Unacceptable performance from Joji, and hopefully he could just make instrumentals in the future. Go back to making music about uh, pedophilia, like, you know, the good old days. I spent way too long making this review. It's 16 minutes, and I've already, I'm have i looking at the time right here. The timestamp says 17 minutes spent recording without editing. I've ranted on and on and on. If you made it this far, how? Type down below, uh, hey, bulks. I have a cancer. Hit like, even though you probably already hit dislike. But you know, hit like, hit uh, subscribe, notifications, all that stuff for more controversial videos in the future. Bye.